Prep Test 74, Section 3, Number 13, the author's attitude regarding stealing thunder can most accurately be described as what? Uh, I would predict here something basically favorable. The author seemed to think that stealing thunder makes sense. Of course, the author does say we haven't actually been able to like scientifically test this in a trial because you can't do scientific tests inside of a trial context, but the author says it stands to reason and there's like, we've done these other experiments in psychology that support it. And so it's basically positive. Um, a, is the author concerned that the technique may become so common that lawyers will fail to recognize its drop? What is that? No. The author is not concerned that it's going to become so common that lawyers fail to recognize the drawbacks. That doesn't make any sense. B, is the author favorable toward its use by lawyers during the opening statements of a case? Well, yeah, uh, but skeptical of its value otherwise? No, the author doesn't say you can't use steel, stealing thunder in other, in other areas of a trial besides just the opening statements. C, is the author concerned that research results supporting it may omit crucial anecdotal evidence indicating pitfalls? Um, no, I, who cares if the research results don't contain anecdotal evidence? I don't know. D, is the author approving of its use on the grounds that its success is experimentally supported and can be psychologically explained? Well, yeah, I mean, generally positive. The author says we do have these... Um, experimental supports uh, in psychology and we also have psychological explanations and pretty good. E is the author skeptical of its suitability for use by lawyers without lengthy experience in courtroom strategies and I don't think the author says that at all. I'm gonna pick D because it's sort of like sums up the main point of the passage.